It's a community within a community. A neighborhood on Milwaukee's southwest side is named after a Catholic liberal arts college for women that moved there 70 years ago. In today's CBS 58 hometowns, I discovered how Alverno College is igniting the potential of students from Milwaukee and around the world. More than 4,300 colleges in the United States. Giselle, you chose Alverno. Why? Um, the reason I chose Alverno is because of the small classroom size environment. But once I toured Alverno and saw the classroom sizes, I felt like this was a perfect college for me. I chose Alverno because of the Thea Bowman Institute. It builds community. I have sisters that will help me with anything I have any problems with, and it brings me such joy to be here. You know what else I learned? Students are drawn to Alverno's real-world ready education. That includes opportunities for hands-on learning, such as those found in this unique classroom, a living laboratory. One of the most unique things about this classroom is that it is for the entire Alverno community, as well as Milwaukee community. I'm Dr. Rebecca Quingler. I'm an assistant professor of biology here at Alverno College. And we are currently in Alverno's new greenhouse. Having a hands-on experience like this just gives them one more opportunity to find out what they're truly passionate about. The greenhouse provides a wide variety of STEM opportunities. We do water chemistry analysis every single day in both the fish system and the plant system. We're looking at nutrition. We're looking at the, the health of the plants. We grow a lot of different foods and then we provide them to the food bank on campus. My name is Elena Burke. I'm the director for student engagement and leadership. And right now we are in the food pantry for students at Alverno College. It is something that is meant to help students with basic grocery needs and personal care items that they might need. We just are always needing support from our community to help us support our students and the families that they have, you know, just through making sure that everyone's eating and that everyone is doing well and everyone feels well so that they can actually study and work and do all the things that they need to do. More than 50 undergrads will be wearing this blue and green cord during next month's winter commencement. Coming up on Thursday, what it symbolizes and why it brings great pride to students, their families, and this college. Take a walk through campus and you'll notice just how diverse the student body here at Alverno College is. Joining me now is Danielle Joya. She is the Director of Student Success here. Uh, one of the most diverse student bodies in the state. Yes, absolutely. We're also um, Wisconsin's first Hispanic serving institution. 27% of our students are Hispanic. Um, more than half of our students are students of color. Um, and I think that's uh, a testament to the fact that we serve our local community here. During next month's winter commencement, there'll be more than 50 students wearing blue and green cords. Mm -hmm. What does this symbolize? Absolutely. So 54, per, um, 54 of our first generation graduate students are going to be participating in a special cording ceremony. These cords recognize this special achievement for first generation students who have really navigated the higher education experience on their own. These are custom colors. The blue represents being first and the green represents growth and new beginnings, which encapsulates their important journey. I think we're at 66% of first generation students comprise our undergraduate body. They're the heart of Alverno. This is a golden anniversary year for Alverno and a groundbreaking curriculum. That's correct. Yes, it's exciting. We're really glad to be able to focus on our ability-based curriculum and celebrate its longevity and how it's impacted students throughout that time in our curriculum. So instead of letter grades, you focus on eight abilities, don't you? Yes. So students aren't graded in most of our classes. It's a pass-fail system. But in order to pass the class, to demonstrate that they're successful in the course, they have to show that they can demonstrate those abilities at the levels that I mentioned, whether that's in beginning, intermediate, or at a more advanced stage. And this really builds on Alverno's mantra of real world ready, doesn't it? It does. In order to build leaders, you need to have people who are, can go out there and do communication. They're familiar in different contexts. They can speak well on their feet. I think it's a hidden gem that not many people are familiar with. Students who are thinking about enrolling here have a chance to learn more about the Eight Abilities First Gen program and other parts of the Alverno experience during a preview day this Saturday. Registration is required. 